Those are students on the campus of Goshen College, but they're not your typical college kids. They attend CCYC, the Campus Center for Young Children at College Mennonite Church. CCYC is a licensed, nationally accredited child care center. So we are currently at this location serving children uh, 13 months through five years old. That's Executive Director of CCYC, Janet Whalen-Couch. So we are a separate nonprofit from both the college and the church. So we operate under our own 501c3. Goshen College staff and faculty, as well as community members bring their young children for the early childhood program. I would say about a quarter of our kids are either on our sliding fee scale or um, are receiving assistance through the state voucher program. The children spend their time playing, learning, and socializing with each other. Assistant teacher Haley Kirkton says that the kids are learning all day. We, you know, obviously integrate learning skills into the curriculum, you know, gross motor skills, spine motor skills, it kind of changes depending on the age. Early childhood is one of the most crucial times for learning in a person's life. But zero to three, 85 percent of the brain is developed. And so the experiences that these kids are getting now is going to shape how successful they are for the rest of their lives. Even though it is a pivotal time for a child, teachers in that field don't get paid a lot. A bachelor's degree in early childhood is the lowest paying bachelor's degree you can get out of any four-year degree. Not every school offers a degree in early childhood education. So I have a BSW, so a bachelor's in social work. I really do like early childhood, but we don't have early childhood at Gershon College. So, and Ivy Tech is really the only game in town right now when it comes to early childhood. The nation faces a teacher shortage, and early childhood is not immune. So um, it's a dilemma. It's a huge dilemma, and, and it's going to continue to be a challenge until something can shift. But we are we are fully staffed right now, so we're really lucky in that. The shortage of teachers was not a surprise to Whalen Couch. It's been a huge challenge, and it's something that we have seen coming for probably the last decade or so. Since the start of the pandemic, early childhood teachers have left the field in masses. I want to say at least a third of early childhood programs closed and didn't reopen after the pandemic. 100,000 early childhood workers have left the profession. 100,000. As if we weren't already short-staffed. Whalen Couch does have hope. We have seen some positive moves as far as um, infrastructure and on the federal level trying to get more funding. CCYC is continuing to take care of the kids who come to their facilities. At the end of the day, our focus is always doing what's best for children, period. For more information on what CCYC is doing for kids, you can visit their website, ccycgoshen.edu. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Amelia Lee.